Does TikTok have a pro-Palestine bias? Look at this graph. On TikTok, there were 285 million views for hashtag stand with Palestine, whereas there were only 64 million views for hashtag stand with Israel from October 23rd to 30th. This is compared to the week before where there were 11 million views for Palestine and 12 million for Israel. And this was despite there being 15 times more Israel posts than Palestine that week, which was reversed the week after. It's because of numbers like these that some US Republicans are renewing calls to ban TikTok due to a pro-Palestine slant. It's this drastic shift between those two weeks that critics are suggesting that the Chinese-owned TikTok is deliberately pushing pro-Palestine content to undermine US foreign policy. To see whether that's true or not, I went on the American-owned Instagram. Yesterday, there were 163,000 posts for hashtag I stand with Israel, this is lifetime posts, and there were 205,000 for Palestine. Today there is an increase of um, 2,000 posts for Israel to 165,000 and a massive increase to 286,000 for Palestine. That's an increase of 81,000 posts versus 2,000. Meanwhile on X, formerly Twitter, hashtag Free Palestine is trending right now with 97,000 posts and JK Rowling is second for questioning some um, of the pro-Palestinian supporters with only 11,000 posts and there were no distinctively pro-Israeli posts to be seen at all. And these numbers also align with a recent Harvard Caps Harris poll. A massive one-third of people aged between 18 and 24 believed the statement, Hamas killed 1,200 Israeli civilians to be false. Also, 84% of Americans in general side with Israel, but only about half of the 18 to 24 demographic support Israel. Also, 80% of Americans believe Hamas to be terrorists, whereas only 59% of 18 to 24 year olds believe this as well. And I also believe that both online and offline, my anecdotal experience does seem to show that most politically vocal young people are pro-Palestinian. And thus my conclusion is this. There is no evidence that I can see that TikTok has a deliberate pro-Palestinian bias. Rather, this reflects the true beliefs of your younger people who are the main demographic on TikTok. And as for the massive swing towards Palestine in that specific week in question, well, that was when Israel really started their retaliatory um, strikes on Gaza, which flooded the internet with images of terrible Palestinian losses and general um, terrible suffering. Images of the Israeli music festival became very distant memories very, very quickly. I believe that younger people are also generally more rebellious and distrustful of government messaging, especially when it comes to foreign policy. Whatever your beliefs are, whatever side you're on, I think it's pretty safe to say that Hamas and the Palestinians are winning the war for the hearts and minds of young people in the West. But do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below.